my friends. Welcome to another video. Today I want to share with you guys our fun adventure to the river. We've gone to the zoo. As you guys know, I take 40 days of rest every time I have a baby. So after I've had a baby, I take a rest period so that my body can heal, my mind can adjust. You're very open and vulnerable after you've had a baby, um, physically, mentally, spiritually, all of the above. And these 40 days of rest, you just stay in and around your home and really adjust as a family to having another baby. In the first couple weeks, it is very physical rest. Um, and I practice five days in the bed, five days on the bed, and five days around the bed. Um, since this is my fourth baby, that was actually practiced five days in the bed, and then the on the bed and around the bed were practiced on the couch, uh, but still very restful. Now, ending the 40 days is an exciting time in our family. We kind of like to celebrate it. So this year, we wanted to celebrate by going out in nature and having a wonderful family day, especially since this little guy was born in summer. This is our first summer baby. All of our other birthdays in our entire family are all fall or winter. So this was exciting. And we decided to take the family and our sweet new baby to our favorite, favorite nature spot. Cody and I have been coming here for years since we were teenagers um, and right before we got engaged. And it just felt like the perfect little spot to go pack up a picnic lunch and spend the day and dip our toes in the water. Since then, we've also been to the zoo and that was really fun because the zoo is one of our favorite places. Today, I wanted to bring you guys along to the river with us. And there's a few clips of the zoo, but just having a really beautiful family summer and having a slow, intentional time easing into our life as a family of six. Hey everyone, long time no see. It has been so long since I have filmed a vlog for YouTube. Hi, I am five weeks postpartum, so he is five weeks old. We're on our first family outing today and I thought it would be a good day to film. Sorry, the AC is blasting. Um, so my 40 days of rest ended yesterday. And today we are on our first like official family outing, leaving our town, going, packing up and doing something. So we decided to go to the river. Mama. So we got everyone. Mama. Hi. Saggy, got the baby, got the big and kids, the and got the dog. Whole fam jam. Cody's just run into the store to grab sandwich materials for lunch. Um, and then we're gonna take off to the river. I don't think we're gonna spend a ton of time there, but we just wanna go into nature. And we just need to get the rhythm back because this week all of our normal stuff starts um we have like summer reading program for the kids and we have homeschool meetups and baby group play dates and like everything is kind of back to our normal rhythm and this is my first week like properly solo doing all of the activities going to all the activities and all of the things so we're starting small with a nice gentle family outing um gonna grab a coffee but i'm so excited to be back filming and just sharing with you guys because I've really missed you, but I have really just not even had a second of space to feel like I could start editing. So I'm going to attempt to start doing that and try to start filming. And I don't know when you guys are actually going to see this video. I think it's like July 16th today. Um, so we'll see how quickly I can get this out. Maybe you'll see this before the birth vlog. I don't know what order I'm putting because that might take me longer to edit. Anyway, hi. It's really nice to see you. Let's go to the river. <laughs> Up 
feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong Cold baby feet. You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough. Like sideways. Shining from within. I can tell that right. you're tough. You want to try and skim it across the surface as flat as you can. Order in a cup of love. Feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Delicate balance, Grace. river and that place in particular it's so special to us and it just felt like the most fitting activity for our family to do as our first official family outing we had gone to the park the day before just to like walk around and go for a little walk and test that out and and take zephyr in his car seat for the first time and it turned out to be just the most beautiful day and exactly what was needed i felt like i really wanted to ease back in to the real world and not do anything that was too public. I really wanted just to be in nature. As I said before, it's a very vulnerable time for a mother. No matter how many babies you've had, that postpartum period is so sacred. And I believe it deserves to be treated as such. And this time, I don't know if it was because I have two under two or just four children, or I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it definitely took me several weeks before I was ready to kind of take on normal life again and I'm still not quite back to taking on everything. I have scaled things way back just for my own mental clarity. I want to enjoy this season that I'm in. I want to enjoy my baby. I want to enjoy my family. It's a lot to balance and I think I need to be very careful that I'm not balancing too much so that it becomes overwhelming. And so this summer has been scaling back and being very intentional with my time so that this time can be joyful and not just feeling chaotic. It definitely took me longer this time before I was even ready for normal conversations again. Um, and I think we really need to honor those feelings. And I find it so beautiful that I have created a space for myself to feel those things and to know myself enough to know whether or not I'm ready to talk about normal life or hear what everybody else has going on or if I just need a little bit more time to be held and to be soft and to be in this lovely postpartum bubble. So once I felt more back to regular life, I guess, and I was talking with all my friends again and starting to have people over and getting more comfortable going out with everybody, we decided to go to the zoo. Now this has been the longest our family has gone without having zoo passes. The zoo feels like our second home. We have been going since Mackenzie was just a wee little baby. I think we got her first zoo pass when she was like eight months old or something. And because I had a harder pregnancy and Zag was born right in the middle of winter, we had not been to the zoo since he was born and he had never been to the zoo, which just feels wild in our family. So finally, it felt like the right time we bought zoo passes and renewed our zoo passes 
and we brought Zag to the zoo and it was such a beautiful day. We had one of my sweet friends and her son join us and this is actually how we decided to spend Cody and I's 14th wedding anniversary. We wanted to do a family activity and spend the day at the zoo and then go out for dinner later. Um, and it was such a beautiful and fun way to spend our anniversary and Zag had so much fun. I love this age and just being able to soak in that experience through his eyes and watch him take it all in and see animals he's only played with in toys or seen on a documentary or something to be able to see them in person. He was amazed and it was so much fun and I cannot wait to go back. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can be Prioritizing family outings, we probably do them once a week or at least every two weeks, several times a month ideally. As my kids grow, especially as my daughter really enters into her teen years here, I can't believe she's turning 14 this fall. Family time has never felt more crucial and more important and cultivating that family time while she still wants to be here with us and creating a space that she will always want to be in and all of our kids when they get older is so important to us and one way we do that is family activities and they don't always like we buy zoo passes because it works out to be very cheap so it almost feels free when we go through the through the year um but trips to the river and a walk through the park going to get a little treat and then going somewhere, going on a bike ride or a skateboard session or something. Those things just really are the glue that holds us together as a family and keeps us feeling bonded and in love with each other. And if this is something your family doesn't currently practice and you feel badly about that, you can always just start. And it doesn't have to be anything big and outlandish. You don't have to spend money. You don't have to do anything that feels like too much for you. As I always say about rhythms and family time and all of these different things I talk about, the most important thing is the intention you're putting behind the action. So if your intention is good and you just try to go and put life down for a minute and go hang out with your family, everybody is going to benefit from that. Thank you for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed our little family outing and being with us. Like I said in my last video, I'm so grateful and happy to be back. Thank you to everybody who has watched the birth vlog. And if you haven't watched that and you want to watch it, I posted it last. Go watch that. It is a very beautiful, beautiful video. It's maybe one of my favorites ever. Uh, it was such a beautiful birth and I just appreciate all of the all of the comments and love and messages that I've received since posting that. I'm trying really hard to post on Thursdays, so I hope you will join me from here on. Um, once a week feels like something that is good right now for me and something I can do and keep my promise on. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here with me today. I am looking forward to seeing you all next week. Oh, that's a bear. That's right. I would love to hear how your family spends time together and if you guys do outings, what do you do? And what are your favorite things as a family to go do as an outing? Um, I love to hear, I love to collect ideas and just creating a community in the space of mothers who want to live an intentional life with their family is a really big comfort for me so i always really appreciate when you share with me i hope you are all really really well it's been lovely to reconnect with all of you and i will see you in the next one bye guys